What's up, everybody? Hi! How's everyone's uh, day going? Um, I hope you all are talking to each other and making friends. Wouldn't that be fucking cool? Um, standing, standard tuning, standing, standard tuning today for drunk to, um, throw up that shit if you brought your guitar to class. Um, I think what I've been doing wrong trying to save these is that I haven't actually been saving them the way you're supposed to. So, if you feel like dropping out of this lesson right now and you want to watch it later, it'll be up. But for all the real heads who want to hang out and wearing something together, let's fucking do it. What's up? Um, alright. I got, I see some fucking hands up. So, let's start the lesson. Let's do, let's learn how to play drum two. Let's play some guitar. Honestly, I have not played guitar like at all since our last lesson. I've been doing other shit. Like, I don't even know what, but I've been doing stuff that isn't that. Uh, when I'm over here, I can't read your comments, but every now and then I'll like see what's up. Cool. Okay, sick. So, I was going to use my Jazz Master for this guitar lesson. But then I remember that I wrote this song on an unplugged electric strat. So, um, I'm going to use a strat for that. Uh, so first things, if you're with me, go ahead, everyone, and tune your guitar into standard tuning. That is E, A, D, G, what, B, E? You guys know standard tuning. I think I'll do what I did the last two times. Let me see if I can situate myself so you can like really see the guitar. Um, I'm just gonna play through the song really quickly, a little bit slower than the song actually is. It's also kind of a long song, so I might just do the um, like one verse and a chorus just so you get a sense. Because those are the ones. It's a slightly repetitive song, but the, just each section has like different tricks while using the same chords. So, um, and I'm not going to sing because I don't fucking feel like it. So, let's see this. Your 
point your finger is going to be on the seventh fret of the A string. Your ring finger is going to be on the ninth fret of the D string. And then your pinky is going to kind of like hammer on and off a little bit and come in and out of that same ninth fret of the uh, D string as well. So that's our, this chord is like, or this hand shape is like our building block for the entire verse of the song as well as the, uh, the riff intro. So to start with the riff intro, I play it starting with that middle finger with the eighth fret, da da da, so that's up and down, point your finger on the seventh fret, ring finger on the D string, and then the pinky on also on the D string, but going up to the ninth or the tenth fret. Again, you're going to be using your middle finger on the 8th fret, low E string. And then here, we're going to go down to the 3rd fret on the low string, on the low E string. Point your uh, finger on the second fret of the A string. Ring finger on the fourth fret of the D string, and then that pinky. On the same uh, string, the same also on the D string, but just going up to the fifth. So I've never tried to explain this out loud, and it feels like weird coming out of my mouth, but um, hopefully you understand that. Any questions about that? Um, shit, you're late. I thought you could do it on the desktop. Um, you probably can later if you want, but uh, you can always watch it if you've missed it. Right now I'm just going over the introductory uh, riff into the song. So I'll play through it one more time before we kind of get into the verses. Um, so I would just kind of practice along on like a loop to the beginning of the song so you get like a sense for the true rhythm of it. I'm playing it a little much slower than I normally would. Um, but I'll play it again once more, break it down quickly, and then we'll go into the verse. So that's... Oh, I guess, yeah, I don't really use my pinky. I slide up with my ring finger to that other uh, fret. So this is... So if you know what it is, drop that knowledge. Um, and use those individual notes of it to create the riff. So, so that means that our hand for the verse should look like this. It's a weird way. To, I know it's a C. Um, it's a weird way to play a C, but this is how I play it. And I'm using my pinky kind of like hammering down within the verse to create uh, just different moments of like tension and, and relief in the song. So in that verse, your middle finger, uh, <laughs> your middle finger is on the eighth fret of the low E string, your pointer is on the seventh fret of the A string, your ring finger is on the ninth fret of the D string, and then you're kind of 
using your your pinky to go on and off excuse me of the 10th fret of the D string as well so that's the first chord of the of the verse of trunk two so the entire same shape. I'm not changing a fucking thing about where my fingers are in this formation. I'm sliding everything up two frets to the, what is this? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. To the, so that your middle finger is on the tenth fret of the low E. Your pointer finger is on the ninth fret of the A string and your ring finger and pinky are both on the D string on the 11th and 12th fret. So you, that's the slide, the... And then that last note in the verse is you're taking again that same formation and moving your middle finger down to this G, which is the third fret of, um, the low E string, middle finger on the third fret of low E, your pointer finger on the second fret of the A string, your ring finger on the fourth fret of the D string, and your pinky again being used kind of just when you want it. All right, so let's uh, take it from the top and see if that makes sense. Uh, or no, I guess let's just say with this. So. strumming for this, uh, what I do is and that's it. This is GC, or this is C. I don't know what that is, but this is G. The most like commonly used chords in all of chorus, the beautiful chorus. So if you were, um, wa if you watched the first lesson of this and we did the song Piss Drinker, I showed you what's pretty much like my favorite chord or whatever the fuck, it's like almost a power chord where you just use like your middle finger on a whatever and then your pointer finger is directly one fret down on the A string. I just feel like wherever you move your fingers in that formation, on the E and A string, it sounds cool, and it just, I don't know, it sounds like emotional wherever it goes. So I'm just using these two fingers for the entire chorus. So I'm sliding up. Oh wait, I have notes. I'm only realizing now like how bad my fucking eyes are. I have to bring the shit up. Okay, so ready for the chorus? Are we cool for that? I should have asked. Oh, guitars has to... Maybe let's, uh, should we retune? Everyone take a moment to retune before we play this chorus because we don't want to fuck it up, you know? It's supposed to sound good. I'm a little out of tune. I mean, truth be told, I only need two strings for the chorus, but I'll need my other strings for the rest of the song. Okay. Okay, so, time for the chorus of Drunk 2. So we've just finished our...
not playing a chord on anything, it's just one single note. And then I'm sliding again. So take that same formation that you had where you had your um, middle finger on the 15th fret of the low E and your pointer on the 14th, and you're sliding down to the 8th fret of the low E and your pointer finger's on the 7th of the A string. Wait, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, okay. And then finally, that final um, note in that uh, pattern is your middle finger on the 3rd fret of the low E string and your pointer finger on the 2nd fret of the A string. So all together, Starting here, again, just these two strings is all you need. One single note here. I like how it feels like a little bit fuller when you have those two strings. And then the absence of anything in that, just that one single note, I think is like what makes that moment start to feel a little bit smaller. So instead of like doing more when you're trying to have like an emotional moment sometimes in your music, you can really let the melody come through with a very like simple, and then it feels a little bit more resolved when we then add that second string back into it. So again, that's 15th fret, just your pointer finger. And then we go right back into the riff that we did learned at the beginning of this. Song. So that is then middle finger on the 8th fret, pointer on 7th fret, middle finger to it. <laughs> it's so hard to do it slow, but since I taught you in the beginning of the video, I'm just going to assume that you either followed along and you know it now, or you can like watch it back later. So after that first chorus, we go back to the... a little bit but the second verse in drunk two is infinitely more aggressive and angry than the first verse the first verse is like a little bit more like um woe is me i'm so sad and then the second verse is like when you've drunk too much you've got to the point where you're just like fucking angry so that's a place in the song where i'm relying a lot to kind of bring new life and I'm like really hitting on the chords for the verse to make the second verse like that feeling of like I'm not even close to over what's what I was talking about in the first verse in this one so like I'm bringing a lot more noise into it so uh, I can't remember anything right now but
my distortion for the chorus to come back in. Right now I have a Memory Boy um, electroharmonics pedal plugged in, but I usually use an MXR carbon copy um, and fuzz for the for the chorus. But so yeah, then we're going back to the. Did it come back? All right, it said pause to, due to poor connection, but I think we're cool, right? Okay, so right at that moment where it told me it paused, um, I had just finished that second chorus. So in the part um, right before the bridge comes back, there's a part where pretty much all of us kind of like lay off our instruments and there's a moment of like reprieve, basically. So in that part, the strumming is... Adding that pinky, taking the pinky off, and then at the same time, everyone steps on their distortion in the band, and it's aggressive again. And then I go into the riff, which is... But instead of going back here, I'm just doing like a fake out solo kind of thing. So, uh, middle finger on the third fret, middle finger on the second fret of the A string. And then, uh, so maybe I'll do that like a little closer if I can to make sense because I want you to understand it. But so, oh fuck, I didn't bring a strap. I believe this won't take over the guitar, or the camera, I mean. Okay, so I just showed you the part where it's quieter. finger, it's uh, on the fifth fret of the D string. Like I add a little bit of flourish. Like I don't play the big solo at the end. That's the Nazis. Um, you can find him and tell him you want to learn his solo. But sometimes I'll add like a little. drop back out. I think that's where we end it. It's so strange to like, I haven't listened to the song in so long, I kind of like forget where the parts are, but I think those are the parts. 
I'm gonna stop for a second. Tell me if anything didn't make sense. You want me to go over anything again, or you have any other questions about um, life and guitar and stuff like that? Um, do do do. I think maybe they're major seventh chords too. I don't know. They sound really pretty and they're they're fun to play. So. Um, the intro, please. I'm Mrs. It. Well, you can watch this video again to get the intro, but the intro is just the riff, um, that I was playing, or the, it's, like I said, this chord, this, uh, C, is where all your fingers are that use the riff. chorus please yeah I think now that I'm like a little bit closer might be a little easier so let's go over the chorus one more time uh, in this song you uh, or sorry if you watch the lesson for piss drinker I told you that like one of my favorite uh, <laughs> like chords <laughs> or just hand shamans is just to do a very simple just these two. It's kind of like not a complete power chord because I'm not getting, I'm getting rid of the third. I just feel like those just sound good together wherever you, wherever you put them on the, the bridge. So, um, you're taking your, this is the what, 12, 13, 14, 15. Your middle finger should be on the 15th fret, it's the one with the dot of the low E string. Your pointer finger is on the 14th fret of the A string. And do not play any of the other strings except for your low E and your A for the chorus. So there, for the first note. And everyone says to me, at me, I'm taking off my middle finger I'm taking my one pointer finger and hopping it over to the 14th fret of the uh, low E string. I'm just playing that note. And then I'm sliding back down again to the, what is this, the 8th fret of the low E. And then your pointer, your middle finger is on the 8th fret of the low E. Your pointer finger is on the 7th fret of the A string. sliding down one more time to have your middle finger on the uh, third fret of the low E string and your pointer finger on the second fret of the A string. So let's see if I can see the whole guitar. into the intro before the second verse with you play the riff again from the beginning but if it was after the second verse you would do like a fake drop out and it would become very quiet before going then into like the final outro of the song um all right so let me cuddle up again to y'all and see if there's any questions, but I kind of think you'll be able to get it from 
that. And if you have any other questions, you can definitely ask me. I think I figured out what I was doing wrong and why I couldn't save these before. So assuming that I'm right about being wrong, uh, I'll save this and it'll be up for like 24 hours and maybe even live forever somewhere else so you can learn it. Um, uh, I don't know what key it's in. I think it's C and G. I don't know. Someone else. What's the transition chord after the C before the G? Um, I think it's a, it might be a B. So if you're... That one, you're just sliding up. So all your fingers should be kind of in the same place, but everything's sliding up. One, two, two frets so that your middle finger is on the, what, 12, 11, the 10th fret of the low E string. Your pointer finger is on the ninth fret of the A string. Your ring finger is on the eleventh fret of the D string, and your pinky is on the twelfth fret of the D string. And then you slide down to the the third fret for before it comes back. Um, yes, that bass drop is very creep. I love it. I'm still trying. I've brought it up like every day that I've talked to Bear and Tanasi, which is maybe why they haven't done it, because I've been like, guys, people want to learn your parts, but they don't want to do it. So you're going to, you have to use this knowledge to get your ear going to figure out what, what they're doing. So I guess I'm less precious with my information. I don't give a fuck if everyone knows what I'm doing. It's not a fucking secret. It's for other people to learn. Um, so thank you. Um, thanks for stopping by for learning drunk two with me. If you wanna just chill for a minute, any other questions about it? Um this beautiful poster is uh one of the pictures that we took at the album art like when Kayleen and I met up with our friend David Brandon Geating who took the picture. Um this was another one of the setups that we did. Uh, but we ended up settling with like just the the burned out globe, which is here if you want to see it. This is it's really kind of ugly to have in your house, like burned out globe. Oh yeah, hey, check it out. By the way, got my mannequin pussy underwear on. Having a good time. Let's see. Yeah, it lives in my house still. The burned out globe from the album cover. It's kind of like a gross thing to have around, but it feels like symbolic. So I don't think I kept. A, I can't throw it away. So I just have this like kind of burned out globe that lives in my my room now, or at least in this room. Um, but to answer your question, yeah, sure, we could probably make a poster of that. That would actually be pretty fun. Once I we made it for the drunk two video, so. Afterwards, I just took it, and there's, like, a quick scene where me and uh, Tennis are kissing and flirting and taking shots in front of a place at Photo Club, and we put up that, that poster. So, what else? How do I request an interview with you? I think you just did. Just fucking email me or DM me and say you want to ask me questions that don't suck. Um... Yes, and happy anniversary to Drunk 2. Yesterday was the one year anniversary of filming it, and it's kind of actually feels like it was much longer ago than that, so it's very cool to take a moment to reflect about everything that's happened since then. So, yeah, I'm excited about that too. <laughs> um, let's see. Anything else? If not, I think I might be hungry again, and... Hopefully you learned what you wanted to, and this inspires you to kind of start using a little bit of time to pick up your dusty instrument and just sit around and play some stuff. I think learning how to play along to songs, they say, is a good way to learn how to play. I don't know. I don't really know how to play, like, anyone's songs except for songs I've written. I know, like, a little bit of the bass line to Is This It, but I forget it all the time, so I don't, I don't really know shit. Um, yeah, Nicole, my love, you missed it, but don't worry, it will stay up. Um, 
How did your wall turn out outside? I painted one. It looks, it's a really, it's a nice pink. Um, it's still in process. It was like thunderstorming today, so I couldn't go out and paint, but I'll keep doing it. Uh, do, 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 do. I wish I could come to Austin, you know, let's just all keep, hi Francesca, I'll keep staying and doing what we're doing and hopefully we'll be all back out at a show together come the fall, you know, we're going to have like a lot of time inside obviously, so that's why I wanted to share these guitar lessons with you and, uh, just so we can spend a little bit of time together and, practice guitar it's a good thing to keep up uh no unfortunately we're not able to do the best coast makeup dates uh because we have a tour that had been booked for a headlining tour in october and november and unfortunately the way that radius clauses work is they don't let you come to the same city um within like a 30-day period of each other so um assuming that you did uh Assuming that we can still do shows in the fall, we will be touring in the fall, but we'll see what happens. Um, oh, I love Superstar by Caroline Rose. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I'm not really listening to music right now, honestly. I've been playing Zelda a lot, and uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know like, how I'm spending my days at this point. I'm packing packages. I listen to a lot of Ash Nico. I fucking love her. Um, she seems like such a sweet bitch. <laughs> uh, and yeah. Hell yes, I would again. I love them. But who knows when tours will come back. I saw you earlier, if you're still here. Yes, you did miss it, but um, this will go back up after we're done. You did it. You're on your way to start learning Drunk 2. Um, I don't know. I think I'm going to go do something else now. What are you guys all going to do? I'm fucking tired of making dinner. That sounds stupid, but I just I want someone to, to make it at a place where I can sit. And, I don't know. Obviously, it's not, like, the worst thing. It's nice. Um, yeah, before I say anything stupid, let's call it a day. And, uh, oh, real quick, what do you want to learn next? Because I want to keep doing these guitar lessons. It's, like, nice to have a thing to do and to, like, share some songs with you all. And, um, yeah. What what are we thinking? What are we thinking? Ooh, stir fry tofu. That sounds good. Uh, I think actually I'm gonna make I'll make the decision instead. I'll teach patience. Uh, that's a really fun one to play. It's very riff heavy. So I think if you have been following along from the first lesson of Romantic Emotional High, Piss Drinker, to Pledge Cream, to today's lessons at Drunk Two. If you feel comfortable playing that batch of songs, you're going to be very comfortable playing Patience because it's mostly riffing. It's like very little chords and just a lot of like layered shit on top of each other. So it'll be, I think, like a nice progression to do. Perfect. I just want to make you happy. Um, all right, well, fuck yeah. Thanks for coming by. Thanks for going to Drunk too. If you have any questions, hit me up about it. Um, and I'll continue trying to keep get, getting better at teaching you all this shit. And send me those videos of you playing them because it makes me very happy. So have a good day and keep rocking and I'll talk to you all soon.